Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our uh, Land Rover Discovery Commercial. Um, then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Discovery 3 2.7 TD V6 panel van. It's a five door. It's 2009 on a 59 plate. Has got nine service stamps uh, in, the, in the book, which I'll just go through in a second. It's done 38,658 miles. The mileage at the last service was 36,678 miles, and that was on the 6th of 11, 2019. MOT is till the 10th of 11, 2020, so uh, we'll get that done again. And there's two registered owners from me. Now this is a Land Rover Discovery. Um, and if I didn't tell you from the outside, you wouldn't know it was a commercial vehicle. Um, it's a van, the, the back windows are, are blocked off and plated. Uh, from the from the outside it, it looks just like a normal discovery it's got a high pressure headlamp wash on the front it's got the plastic wheel arch protectors multi-spoke alloy wheels and the alloy wheels are fitted with BF Goodrich all-terrain tires the plastic sill protectors it looks like it's got rear privacy glass but when in fact the, the back windows are actually blocked off from the inside Round the back, electric boot release and it, the, the tailgate, well, electric boot release, electric tailgate release and uh, the tailgate is split into to two halves, kind of a 60-30, sorry, 60-40 configuration. Maths never was my uh, strong point. The vehicle has also had seats fitted as well. So the, the rear two seats pop up out of the floor and it's a, a flat loading area. And the middle row of seats you can take out but requires uh, unbolting. Service history. 5th of 12, 2011 at 10,542 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover Settle. The 25th of 10, 2012, 14,066 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover Settle. 1st of 11, 2013, 17,857 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover Settle. 20th of 10, 2014, 20,367 miles, Ribble Land Rover Settle. 19th of 10, 2016, at 26,021 miles, Loonview Garage, Carnforth. 26th of 10, 2017, 29,886 miles, Loon Valley Garage, Carnforth. 30th of 10, 2018, 33,545 miles, Loon View Garage, Carnforth. 1st of 10, 2019, at 36,358 miles, Loon View Garage, Carnforth. Rear disc pads and calipers were done then and also an EGR valve. And on the 6th of the 11th, 2019, at 36,678 miles at Loonview Garage, Carnforth, service, rear prop shaft and timing belt kit. So no expense has been spared on this vehicle. It's been really well looked after service wise. Um, as you might expect with a commercial, you've, um, there's just a, a couple of little marks and, and they are, are tiny tiny marks I think one bump is uh, one bumper corner has got a scuff on it uh, but the, the rest of the vehicle it's cloth seats inside and if you need a commercial uh, that needs to get anywhere you want to go then um, th this is this is the absolutely ideal vehicle for it uh, and it's it's also good enough to uh, use at weekends really in fact for somebody who wants a four-wheel drive and perhaps um, in, into sports or fishing or, or whatever then uh, again this vehicle would be absolutely ideal so it's not just it's not just a vehicle that would suit um, tradesmen it, it's a lovely car to drive it's low mileage, 
as I said before, fantastic service history. It's good specification. The air, the air con is icy cold. It's a strange day today. It's it's quite it's quite warm, but uh, it's just started raining and it's it's pretty bright too. Hence the sunglasses. <laughs> um, when I had the air con on before, it was it was virtually icing the front window up. It, it's so, it's so cold. Um, let's see what else we've got. We've got a height adjustable steering wheel. Just a normal radio with buttons. which I uh, much prefer. There we go. Electric door mirrors, high pressure headlamp wash as I mentioned before. The, uh, the BF Goodrich all-terrain tires are a little noisier than um, your, your normal road tyres. Uh, you, you can tell you've got them on, but if you do have to go through mud and so on, then they're, uh, they're an absolute godsend. And remember, it was in a, a vehicle similar to this that uh, Jeremy Clarkson went up that mountain. <laughs> so, uh, One of the reasons we do these test drives is, although the vehicle's not long been serviced, we, before we offer them for sale, we, we go out for a 10 mile ride in them, make sure everything's all right. And uh, obviously there, although at low speeds, the, the car's fine, trundling around town, it's fine. If I just put my foot On the brakes there, it's uh, the front end's chattering. I'm afraid it's in need of uh, new discs. I think we will investigate that. Uh, there is a little squeak off the back seat, which you, you'd kind of expect. It's uh, if this uh, if this vehicle was mine, I'd need to be going around with it with a, a little sponge, <laughs> sticking bits here and there. But as I say, commercial. <laughs> when, when I. When I uh, say these things to uh, John, who, who deals with vans and buys them and so on, he always goes, Baz, it's a van. <laughs> but rattles in vans are, are just as annoying as rattles in cars. But uh, apparently, I think, it, when you've got a load of stuff in the back, you wouldn't hear that. See what we've got. So electric windows here. The rear, obviously, the rear electric windows don't work because it, it's a van, and uh, the, there are four switches here. If you were that way inclined, and I'm not recommending you did do it, but I would imagine it'd be fair enough, simple to uh, convert back to a, a, a car. And uh, they are windows at the back and not steel panels. The, the panels are perspex, I think, and then, oh no, the, in, the, in the windows, the, the metal, uh, and they're on the inside.
motorway is fairly busy today and uh, I suppose that's the other th advantage of one of these if you're towing something like that uh, in front that horse box then uh, the four-wheel drive and the weight of this vehicle would be ideal and you can also get your uh, crew in the back there we're only doing 60 at the moment it doesn't look like we're going to be able to uh, get up to 70 I don't think uh, nobody on the motorway today seems to be in a particularly hurry I'm not going to make 70. This is a terrible junction. So slight slight noise from the tyres but uh, only to be expected body works all nice outside um, just edge of this door needs touching up which uh, we will do but apart from that as I say for a commercial vehicle then it's uh, it's absolutely ideal and I, I know when you uh, when you when you're driving around a commercial vehicle all day, and, and and especially if you need to be in the type of places where this Land Rover will get you, then uh, I can't think of a better vehicle to be in. Really, got another. We've got a Discovery behind us, and if it does go past, you'll you'll be able to see. There's, there's absolutely no real difference between the two vehicles. Slow down a little and let them go past. wash wipe as well nice high driving position very very comfortable that's better height and reach adjustable steering wheel there Bobby's giving me a good look <laughs> over Must remember to get my mobile phone ready and, and you know just uh, if they stop me because there's nothing nothing sure to wind somebody up than that this is a real good smooth um, piece of road here it's probably the best bit of road in Preston and uh, it's the, the car's pretty quiet if you get onto that kind of the the rough tarmac the real grippy stuff that's that's when it's a little bit noisy and again it's, it comes into its own on uh, road like this
just soaks the bumps up. Oh, sh <laughs> actually, that, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> One of the people that will probably end up buying this has is, is messed all the road up, and I bet they've messed the road up down here as well. Lance may have forgiven me, me for messing the car up by the time I've come back from my holidays. <laughs> that uh, back seat there is, is making a bit of a noise, so there's not a lot we can do about that, I don't think. But uh, if it was my vehicle, I'd be uh, to, to keep, and I was I needed the seat, then I'd be uh, just going round it and uh, making sure those joints are uh, padded. The, the rest of the road all clear, right on a bad bend two cars going one way and a car coming the other way with a cyclist right at the bend. The motorway's got really busy again. So I'll finish the video there. Um, ideal vehicle for uh, if you were uh, <laughs> that that back seat squeaking, making me want to blow my brains out. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to have a look at that when I get back. See if there's uh, see if there's anything that we can do. And Sadly, uh, you get longer for warning other people that there's a speed camera these days than you do uh, for uh, dragging a policeman behind your vehicle and killing him. Strange old world. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a look at our website ggcars.co.uk and uh, see you in the next video going to be very very busy this week before I go on holiday <laughs> lots of cars to video usually just before I go and while I'm away we get very very busy so, but uh, I will be answering live chats while I'm sat by the pool, if my holiday goes ahead. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.
Thanks for watching.